Seven things nice guys do wrong. These are really bad attraction killers. They're instant attraction killers. And I'm going to break them down for you in this video. Hi guys, I'm Apolonia Ponti. I'm your dating and attraction coach for you men to get better with women and really get better overall in your life and get the woman of your dreams or better your relationship, whatever you want, but I'm happy you're here. <laughs> this is your first time visiting. I welcome you to subscribe to this channel because I have amazing advice for you men to get better with women and get what you want. Anyways, let's get into it. Now, I believe, and out of all of my years of coaching, I believe a nice guy is a guy that I've seen who has an emotional belief that he is not okay with who he is. This can come from childhood or into his adult life. So as a result, he is trying to become what other people want him to be or hide anything about him that he may feel shameful of or react negatively to. This can happen in, in his needs and in his sexuality. It's important to understand a nice guy is important to women and in relationships, but the definition of the nice guy syndrome comes from people pleasing and not having trusting relationships with themselves. And nice guy syndrome is basically a full-time job. So number one, he does not know who he is as a person. He hides things that might get a negative response and he is trying to please everyone else around him and avoid all the confrontation. This is the guy that typically gets friend zone right away because the polarity is something they struggle with. Nowadays, most women are in their masculine role so much that these men sometimes are too much in their feminine. Most women don't want to be in charge of the relationship, but want a man that is dominant, but not in a negative way, but understanding the balance to let a woman melt into her feminine side. Number two, they don't speak with conviction. They don't lead assertively. Even the most masculine women, most of the time, want to be led. This starts with how you present yourself. Do you know that people make a first impression in a millisecond with their body language? Did you know that? 55%, I'm going to break this down for you first. 55% is body movement. 38% is tone of voice. And 7% is words. So you probably get scrambled with words. And did you know that it's not even about that? It's about how you present yourself. Always remember a woman can't follow where a man can't lead. Now, leadership is not about do it my way or having any sort of dominance over the person. It's about having a plan and showing up with a sense of confidence about you that you know where you're going and you invite the woman to come along date, life, and everything. Doesn't matter. Think of it like it's a salsa dance. You're not going to ask a woman at each step if she wants to spin. Does she want to do a crossbody move? Does she want to take a right step? No. A man will naturally just lead her. And if she likes the way he leads, she will continue to dance, relax, and follow. And if she does not like the way you lead, she can find another partner to dance with. But if you don't lead, you both stand there looking at each other or she just takes the lead and steps into her masculine and now you follow. Which one do you choose? You get it? Number three, does not say no to things and this emphasizes losing sight of your word. Gift giving, not spending time with your friends, forgetting your hobbies and goals and fail, falls into a routine and you eventually feel like you're chasing because you've lost yourself. Number four, you lose your honesty and transparency. Okay. Letting go of your boundaries, values, and standards and letting things slide when someone is disrespecting you, you must stand up for yourself. Do not compromise your dignity, your pride, and your needs. Self-respect is important and honor that. And I see so many people falling into this trap when they have this nice guy syndrome. And that's why I started this video with explaining what I think nice guy means because it validates everything that I'm saying. 
Number five is they have a neediness towards sex. Understand that women have been through it when it comes to sex. And what I mean by that is looked at as sexual objects, which has not been the best experience for many of us. But if a man is setting the tone and leading, creating polarity, he never has to push a woman for sex. You will find that the woman will be the sexual aggressor with you if you do this right. If a woman is giving you the break, but not ready yet, and have your foot on the gas and you have your foot on the gas to try to have sex with her and you're pushing her, she will then push harder on the brake. Not only is it violating, but it makes her put the brake on setting the tone and leading and creating the polarity, inviting her to invite her feminine space. Then this is the steps to get her open sexually. When a man can master this and not have any validation to the sex, is significantly important because all these years we've trained men wrong. Now, what I'm not saying here is that there's no sexual energy whatsoever. And you're just like, Oh, we're going to excuse this. And we're just going to say that she's just not ready. No, this is when there's sexual energy. You guys have kissed you guys. Something has happened. And she's like, listen, I just want to take my time. I'm not ready yet. You don't push here. That's what I mean. Number six is investing more in relationships than others invest in you. This happens a lot of times with the nice guy syndrome. And let me stop right here because I know where a lot of people are going with this, probably mentally. Women want a nice man, but the nice guy syndrome is some, a full-time job. Like I said in this video, we don't want a nice man that is passive and doesn't have beliefs in himself and doesn't know his value and self-worth because people as human behaviors, not even women, but people. We always want something we have to work for, and we always want something we value. So if you don't value yourself, how can someone else do this? So anyways, you're the one putting in all the work. Healthy relationships are built on mutual investment. Are you putting all the work all in? Are you putting in all the work or are you calling all the time? Are you texting? And are you always just doing for them and nothing is really done for you? Number seven. You apologize for things that are not your fault. There is a significant gift that a man brings to a table in a relationship. And that is bliss. When you are grounded and passionate, it's all interconnected. And when you are healed and you have a sense of belonging, you become her safe place with zero attachment. It's literally a state of bliss. Men, I want men to understand that there's so much value a man can bring to the table. Like it's insane to a woman that is actually matched in your needs and values herself. We don't need other men putting our brothers down. I say this because I make videos like this all the time and I talk really openly about this stuff. And sometimes Most of the time, because I've created a safe place, men open up, men tell me stories in their comments or men are very open to saying, you know, this video is great. But then there's men that are dogging out other men and saying, oh, you're so beta. Oh, you're this, you're you're just putting other men down. And this is the, one of the issues we're having in the society of our masculine. And that's why as a woman, I've stepped into this space is because I think it's so powerful for a woman to say to men, I see this. And we don't need other men putting other men down because at the end of the day, when you're putting another man down, it's a direct reflection on you and you're not turning against the internal work. Now, what's really important to understand too, when I say beta, and it's really important to understand when I say nice guy, we need to find a happy middle ground. No one, a man that's too alpha can, can't keep a woman, a man that's too beta can't keep a woman. It's about understanding the two principles and blending them together, masculine and feminine. Again, a man that's too nice, can't keep a woman. And a man that's too mean, can't really keep a woman and probably doesn't has destructive relationships if he does, but you got to put those together in the same vice versa for a nice one. So you got to put those together with a blend and find the foundational elements of what the positives and both of these are and put them together. And that's why I did this video for you. If you need help getting better in this specific area, what I would encourage you to do are two things. One 
download the friend zone, no more program that I have for you. You will be having access to lifetime access with my coaches and myself at time to time, where we do monthly coaching calls in this group. It's our VIP group. And you also, you have three over three hours of content with me as well. In addition, if it's something that you want to really say, Apollonia, I'm ready to change. I would encourage you to apply for the algorithm of attraction course that I open up quarterly. And this is my group coaching program, which is only for VIP members and ongoing coaching with me and other external coaches in all areas of your life. If you want to find out more, you can click both of those links below. As always, I love hearing from you. Comment, share this video with a friend that needs it. And also remember, you are always loved.